All right, thank you everybody for coming. I really appreciate having you here. Gracias uh, todos por venir. Apreciamos eh, mucho que ustedes estén aquí. Uh, my name is Nina Eichner. I am Me llamo Nina Eichner. Soy el, I'm the special events manager for the Somerville Arts Council. Soy la gerente de eventos especiales para el, el Concilio de Artes de Somerville. And I want to thank you all for coming. We're super excited to have these three artists with us here today. Presencia. Estamos muy emocionados de tener estos uh, artistas, uh, super artistas aquí, urbanos, artistas urbanos aquí, urban artists. And um, Dave Ortega from the Somerville Media Center will be moderating, and we're really happy to have him. El moderador de la discusión será David Ortega, and from uh, Somerville Media Center. De, del Centro de Medios de Somerville. Um, and this is a really exciting project. Um, this is the first time kind of having a specific street art mural project in Somerville. And we hope to continue it in the following years. I just want to thank um, all of the community organizations and businesses who supported this project. And the city of Somerville and our mayor, Mayor Curtitoni, who actually brought this idea to us and asked us to bring it to life. Okay. Gracias. 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 So I will give uh, a brief introduction uh, to, uh, about each of these artists, um, starting uh, way over at the far end there we have David Zayas. Uh, Zayas is a visual artist and muralist. Muralista. Uh, whose exhibitions include Anamalia. Um, at the Art Museum of Caguas el, el and Morales, an exhibition of contemporary muralism at the Museum of y the Morales, Americas in Old San Juan. Una exhibición de muralismo contemporánea en el Museo de las Americas del Viejo San Juan. Uh, the only one yes. of its kind in the history of the island. Es el único de, de, en la historia, en la historia, la historia de la isla. Um, in 2012, Zayas created the One Zayas Per Day project that he entered into collections in Spain, en Spain 2000, Brazil, Mexico, Paraguay, and the U.S. In 2012, Zayas creó el un, un, uno, un Zayas Por Día, el proyecto de Un Zayas Por Día, que entró en colecciones en España, Brasil, México, Paraguay, y en Estados Unidos. Uh, and that same year, he began offering the first short course on street art at the Metropolitan University. En el mismo año, en ofreció un curso el primer curso corto de, de arte de arte pública urbana en la universidad metropolitana right. in the center of our panel we have Anguria who is an illustrator and art director from the Dominican Republic uh, with more than 18 years in the advertising industry in the DR uh, he has excelled nationally and internationally in the area of design typography and lettering um, and he has represented big brands driven by his particular way of expressing himself and creating frank connections with the public and his followers, thus making the Adidas brand a vital part of his image in his home country. He has the las marcas grandes, he has a un modo muy especial de expresarse y cre crea conexiones francas con el público y con la gente que le sigue y hace el la marca de Adidas una parte vital de su imagen en su país natal. And uh, then we have Marca, is an international street artist who works at the intersection of graffiti. Es una artista internacional, eh, artista urbana internacional que trabaja en la intersección de graffiti. Vinyl toys, contemporary art, fashion, and design. Uh, juegos, juguetes de, de vinyl, eh, arte contemporánea, eh, la moda y el diseño. Uh, with paintings, murals, drawings, mixed media pieces, and commissions for major brands, his robust palette blends elements of street and pop culture with Mexican and indigenous aesthetics, a signature look that the artist has coined neo-indigenous. How did your background influence the work that was commissioned by the city of Somerville? Quiero saber si hay algo más que ustedes quieren 
decir acerca de su arte y cómo su eh, experiencia influyó en eh, los, los temas de sus trabajos comisionados. Uh, mi trabajo eh, trata sobre nosotros, los seres humanos. My work is about us, the human beings. Y siempre estoy capturando un momento cotidiano. And I'm always trying to capture an everyday moment. So, eh, de ahí, ese es el punto de partida en mi trabajo y voy desarrollando diferentes temas. And that's the launching point for my work and that's how I develop different themes. Y eh, voy interactuando con el surrealismo. And, and I'm also integrating surrealism in my work. Yeah. So, el trabajo que decidí hacer aquí en Somerville eh, tiene que ver con un, una mesa de un hogar. Eh, so the work that I'm doing here in Somerville has to do with a, 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 a table in a house. Yeah. Eh, prácticamente recreando como un bodegón. No sé cómo. I don't know what to say. Bodegón. Bodega. Bodega. Like the bodega, like a little store. No, it's not a store. It's a. Okay. It's a. Composition. Classic composition. No, yeah. No. It's a classic composition uh, over the, the table with fruits and yes. food. Exactly. Yes. 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 Um, encima de la mesa eh, está un gallo como figura principal. Okay, so on top of the table there's a, a rooster that's like the principal figure, the main figure. Y eh, eh, todos los elementos reciben eh, flechazos como... And all the elements that you see, there's different arrows. Yeah, simbolizando los golpes de la vida. That Maybe. symbolize the, the blows that life, that life gives us. Yeah. El gallo le, le vida sobre la mesa y eh, recibe un flechazo, pero se lo quita con el pico. Okay, the, the, the rooster is on top of the table and he gets, he gets an arrow stuck in him, but he takes it out with his beak. For continuing. For continuing? Yeah. So he, he takes it out for continuing. So stay with the arrow in the mouth. Why rooster? Por qué un gallo? For me, symbolizes the spirit of of fire, of fire. Yeah. So. Oh, es el símbolo del fuego para mí. Did you say fire? Fire. Fire. Oh. De la pelea. De la lucha. De la lucha. Yeah. Anguria. Okay. Caso. Lo que trato de representar básicamente lo que vendría siendo la cultura dominicana. What I'm, what I'm doing has to do with Dominican culture. Culture. En República Dominicana existe un culto al pelo. There's, there's, in the Dominican Republic there is a, a cult about hair. Yeah. O sea, de hecho uno nace pelo bueno o pelo malo. So you're born either with good hair or not bad hair. Yeah. <laughs> Yo soy pelo malo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> bueno, entonces mi experiencia en la publicidad. In, in advertising, my experience has been. Okay, me llevó a tener un discurso de lo que es lo cotidiano entre entre los dominicanos. So I had a, a discussion about what is an everyday, everyday in, among the Dominicans. A través de una estética más pop o más de diseño gráfico. To uh, an aesthetic that's more about pop or graphic design. Ok, Cap trato de capturar momentos cotidianos de cada persona en República Dominicana. I try to get everyday uh, expressions from people in the Dominican Republic. A través de la mujer y su belleza. Um, through the uh, uh, women and their beauty. Ok, los rolos para las dominicanas es parte de ese proceso de verse bellas. The hair rollers in, for the Dominican women is part of their beauty. Y siempre están, están así en su casa. And they're always doing it at home. No, no salen hacia la calle. They, they will not go outside like that. <laughs> Toda esa experiencia la adquirí en viendo a mi mamá trabajando, que tiene un salón de belleza. All, all this work I've seen because I was watching my mother work and she has a beauty salon. Y por qué no presentarlo al resto del mundo lo que venía siendo la belleza para nosotros los dominicanos. And why not show this to the rest of the world what is beauty in the Dominican Republic? 
y básicamente es eso. And that's basically it. And Marca. I'm, I'm originally from Mexico. I was born in, in Juarez, Mexico. What is Mexico? And um, coming from there and, you know, growing up in the U.S., there's a saying in Latin America for guys like me where they say, no, no es de aquí ni de allá, which means you're not from there and you're not from here. Right, exactly. Um, and this, this kind of work has is, is always been very meaningful for me. Um, Somerville, Somerville and Cambridge and other parts of Massachusetts, there's a lot of Brazilians. So for this particular mural, the, the center of the mural is a young Brazilian boy. He's indigenous. And uh, it's a mix of Brazilian and Mexican culture. And, um, you know, this, this, uh, this image that's going around the boy, it's, uh, it's a very este old 900 AD Mayan mask. It's just a represents... Esta imagen es una máscara, está basado en una máscara de Maya de los años, de los años 900. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, it represents uh, birth and death. Representa la, el and nacimiento basically y la the, the life cycle of being reborn again. So, there's a lot of culture in the mural. There's a, there's a lot of folklore as well. So We wanted to bring uh, like the whole neo-indigenous look and feel to this mural, um, to Somerville. Just expose people to that. But um, what are what are the differences between um, working in the U.S. versus uh, other cities, other okay. cities in other countries? Yeah. Okay. Los recursos es la mayor. Okay. The, the resources is the biggest difference. Eh, por ejemplo, en República Dominicana los recursos son muy limitados. For example, mm. in Dominican Republic, they're very limited resources. Es prácticamente autogestión. Es autogestionarse. You have to pay for it yourself. Yeah. Okay. It's y, um, y la conciencia sobre el, el, el arte en las calles. Conciencia. Sí, o sea, la, la, la percepción todavía de las autoridades eh, en, con relación al embellecimiento de los espacios públicos. Es the, mucha la diferencia. All right, I think we can uh, open it up to, to questions. Does anybody have any questions for... Do you mind? become a lawyer and like, go to college, even though the kids necessarily don't really want to go to college. Like, they want to be an artist or, like, um, you know, do some other type of work. But, like, especially now with the internet, you can sell your art online, you can do a lot of things. What are your thoughts on, like, you know, going to school, like, and sort of parents, like, pushing people mm. to go to school and not sort of, like, pursuing their dreams almost? Hoy, hoy en día hay mucha presión de los de los padres, especialmente en países otros países, de, de ser abogados, ir a la universidad, de estudiarse y, y, y ganarse la vida. Pero en ese en esa época actual que tenemos el internet y se puede uh, vender el arte por la computadora, ¿qué ustedes piensan acerca de eso? Son como dos preguntas. Yeah, just have a question. So, pues hay dos diferentes. The first question was about uh, no. pressure about going to the university. Right, and then just like uh, building off of that, like because there's so many opportunities now with the internet and you know people being able to sell their art online or like um, do all those type of things, there's also like a whole new avenue of um, opportunities that are open to them. So to so just like tie those together, like what are your thoughts on that? Hoy en día que se puede vender su, su arte por internet, ¿qué piensan ustedes de hacerlo, de ganarse la vida por vender su arte por internet? Me parece increíble. Yo, mi, una de mis grandes bases son las redes sociales para ahí. It seems like a great idea to me. One of the most important things to me is the, the social networks and uh, doing art through social networks. En el, en el 2012 eh, creé un proyecto que, a, a, que era interactuando a través de las redes sociales y el proyecto fue tan exitoso que desde entonces yo solamente vivo del arte. Así que desde entonces 
So in 2000, it's very important because in 2012, I did a, a, a piece of art that I had to do. It, it was um, I used social networks to get get through it to uh, to present my art, and that was so so important. It's today, even to this day, that's what I'm living from. Y la, la de mi padre, sobre mi padre, tuve la suerte que ellos sabían disimular oh, <laughs> y and me I, I apoyaron. Was, I was very lucky because my parents, they, they had the ability to pretend everything was okay and they supported me. <laughs> <laughs> pues ser artista hay que estar loco. Uh, para, para poder ser todo lo que nosotros hacemos y poder vivir del arte hay que realmente estar loco. Y to, to be able to live from your art, you really kind of have to be a little bit crazy. Y es normal que nuestros padres te digan no lo hagas. And it's very normal for your parents to say do not do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, siempre ser artista va a ser sacrificado, no importa si tienes éxito o no. It's always an, uh, a sacrifice to be an artist. It doesn't matter even if you are successful. Yeah. Bueno. Eh, respondiendo a la pregunta de los padres. About the, the question about the parents. Los padres siempre van a querer lo mejor para uno. The parents are always going to want the best for you. Esa es su función. And that's their job. Pero eh, ellos han tenido una larga vida. But they've also had a long life. Para tener que vivir la mía. Uh, so they shouldn't have to live mine also. <laughs> o sea que, déjenme tomar mi decisión. Let me do my, make my own decisions. Aunque fracase. Even if I fail. Soy joven, tengo el derecho. I'm very, I'm young and I have the right to fail. Eh, pero con relación a la tecnología y, y, y la, esa facilidad que hoy en día. Uh, but about uh, technology and social networks and ability to use, use it for art. El, el hecho de yo estar aquí es el resultado de eso. Ah, uh, the reason that I'm here is because of that. Esto no se hubiese logrado de un, un artista de República Dominicana mm -hmm. llega a un, una ciudad como Somerville a pintar. Uh, otherwise, how would uh, an artist from the Dominican Republic arrive in Somerville to paint? Mm -hmm. Si no es por las redes sociales y, esa, y la tecnología de poder exponer mi trabajo, It's only sería because imposible. of the social networks and my ability to expose or present my work. Aunque no todo es las redes sociales. Even though not everything is social networks. Eh, como tanto como dice eh, David o como dice Marca, like eh, esto es un es un trabajo 24/7. This is a uh, job it's 24/7 job. Se ve o sea el res, la gente mira siempre el resultado. People are always looking for the results. Qué bonito, bueno, qué bien tú estás porque trabajas como artista. It's uh, look at how nice it is or how how great you are because you're working as an artist. Pero los sacrificios tanto físico como en la vida personal, como en la vida familiar que uno tiene que que hacer para estar en este punto. The, the, the sacrifices that you make in your personal life or physically in order to arrive at this point. Son muy grandes. They're very big. Y o sea, eso es lo que noto es el el lado el B side de la historia. And that's the side B of the story, the other side of the story. O sea, que si al momento de que tú quieras dedicarte a hacer arte, lo tienes que tomar como lo bueno, con lo bueno y con lo malo que viene. Que siempre andan juntos. They always go together, the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. El dad and dad. Oh, I mean, I have kids, so it's different. You know, <laughs> they, uh, they're, they're funny. They, uh, David has a child too. No, I have but a older, daughter too. Older daughter, yeah, for sure. No, so. I have a cat. Big cat. But no, it's it's interesting. You you ask about parents and and you know kids and being an artist. And I remember one time we were driving in the car and, and I looked at my kids and I said, you know, you know, you guys are trust fund kids, right? And they, you know, they start smiling. I was like, "Do you know what that means?" And they go, "Yeah, we know what that means." So I don't think you do. I said, "You can trust there's no funds." <laughs> and, um, and of course, they were heartbroken because they they thought it was the other thing. <laughs> and I said to them, "Listen, I I came from nothing. You guys already have a huge head start. Uh, my parents, they um, they immigrated from Mexico here, and uh, you know, I'm the first person to graduate college in my family, and." So now they have an opportunity that I didn't have. 
because uh, my parents didn't know how to apply for schools. They didn't know how to get scholarships. They didn't know what to do um, where my kids do have those opportunities. Um, so I, I tell my kids if they want to be artists, just be practical about having a creative side gig. I was like, you can be, you can be a, a full-time artist, but you have to have a part-time something to pay for that bad habit of being an artist, you know, because it, it, it makes you broke. It's, you know, supplies are expensive, you know, the resources aren't really there, and you have to pay a lot of dues before you get invited to places like, you know, Somerville to paint big murals. Um, and you have to be able to kind of humble yourself. I would say get, get involved with artist community, have mentors, um, you know, volunteer at museums, galleries, because it's about the networking, it's about the learning. Um, being an assistant is, is a huge thing that you can do. Because you have to learn, you know, like what Anguria said, the, the ugly side of it too. It's not just all glamour, you know, there's a lot of lot of sacrifice. But it's, it's completely possible, you just have to be realistic about doing other creative things that could help support art. I think that's a good note to end on. Yeah. Um, thank you everyone, so I thought I'd just give them a big round of applause for Thank you to Dave and to Miriam for translating. Um, and again, thanks to the city for supporting this whole project and the partnership with Somerville Media Center and all of our community partners. Thank you. Thank you.
wanted to welcome you all here today. Thank you so much for coming. Um, we have three amazing murals that have gone up in the city in the last two weeks, and this is one of them. And as you can see, we can, there's a little more work to be done, but it'll be done very soon. Uh, David has been very hard at work finishing the mural, working all week in the heat.
of the woman, the humanity, right? So I use the animal uh, for anthology. Es, I yo utilizo los animales como un, una antología frente al espejo del ser humano. In, in my work, the animals are an anthology in the mirror of the human being. Um, in my work, animals are a mirror of the human being. Yeah. Anthology of the human being. El, los animales, en vez, los utilizo en vez de ser nuestras mascotas, son compañeros de vida. Animals are not pets. Instead, they are our friends for life. Animals are not pets. Instead, they are our friends for life. En este muro, eh, hice una mesa. Eh, don, como simbolizando nuestro diario vivir. In this, uh, in this mural, there's a table here, and that is symbolizing our daily life. El gallo es nuestro espíritu de lucha por la vida. The rooster is our spirit of fight in life. Y las flechas son los golpes que los dan nuestras vidas. And the arrows are the blows that life gives us. So, trato de que el mural nos recuerde que cada día, eh, aunque la vida nos golpee, debemos continuar. So this mural should remind us that every day, even though life gives us blows, we keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody. Hello. My English is very bad. It's very bad for 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 talking. And um, need to stay. Okay. Eh, primero que todo, gracias a todos por estar aquí. First of all, thank you for everyone for being here. Eh, ha sido un honor venir desde la República Dominicana a traer mi arte. It's been a great honor for me to come here from the Dominican Republic to bring my art here. Y he sido muy muy bien recibido por todos aquí en la comunidad. And I've been very well received by everyone here in the community. Eh, espero que este sea el primer paso de muchos murales y embellecimientos del espacio público aquí en Somerville. I hope that this is only the first step in a, a long series of beautification in, of the public spaces in Somerville. Y que este pequeño aporte que estamos haciendo David y yo se haga más grande cada año, cada día. And this small project that David and I are doing, I hope that it will become bigger and bigger every day. No voy a hablar ahora de mi pieza porque no la tengo enfrente, es difícil. I'm not going to talk about my work because I don't have it right in front of me here, so it's difficult. Pero espero que ustedes las reciban tan bien como ustedes me han recibido a mí. But I hope that you will receive my work as well as you have received me. Gracias a todos. Thank you to everybody. Ahora es mucho más fácil poder hablar de mi trabajo ya con el muro ahí. No, it's so much easier to speak about my work with the mural right here. Hubiese sido bastante complicado hablar de mi trabajo sin nada de sin tener cómo verlo. Quite complicated to speak about it without anything to see, but now you can see. Yeah. Eh, en esta pieza lo que quiero reflejar, o sea, es algo que te, tiene que ver mucho con mi cultura en República Dominicana. With this uh, work, 
It reflects a lot about my culture in the Dominican Republic. Eh, es la belleza, es el behind the scene de la belleza en la República Dominicana. Cómo la mujer cuida su pelo. It's the behind the scenes of how the Dominican woman takes care of her beauty and how she takes care of her hair. Pero al final de todo, todas las mujeres sacan ese ese pequeño tiempo para verse un poco mejor. But at the end of the day, all, all the women they do this in order to, at the end of the day, to look better. Independientemente de ser madres, empleadas, profesionales o lo que sea. Whether they're mothers, professionals, or whatever their profession might be. Represento la, quiero representar la belleza y el poder que tiene la mujer en sentido general. I want to show the beauty and the power that a woman has in a general sense. Y es un tributo a, a todas ellas. And it's a tribute to all women. El color rojo que tiene, que tiene la pieza en su piel. The red color that the, the piece has on her skin. Eh, lo quiero eh, significar para que no tenga ningún, ninguna raza en específico. No importa que sea blanca. The reason that we have this color is it doesn't signify any particular race. It could be, it doesn't matter if she's white, whatever race. Pero representa el color como yo entiendo que es la mujer, que es esa fuerza y esa pasión. But it represents the passion and the force that this woman, that women have. Y bueno, agregamos el utensilio del café. And we're going to add in the coffee utensil. Gracias a la recomendación de Nina. <laughs> oh, thanks to Nina's recommendation. Pero traje, eh, quise el, el, lo que representé en esta manera de cómo tradicionalmente se toma café en mi país. And what I wanted to represent was how traditionally we, uh, we, take, we drink coffee in my country. Una pequeña greca y un pequeña taza. <laughs> We have the small um, utensil and the small cup. Donde ella ya por fin de puede verse todo el tiempo trabajando, tiene un momento de descanso y viene un hombre y le sirve a ella su café. So the woman is working all the time and then uh, at, at, the end of, at the end of the day, whatever, a man comes by and then she makes the coffee and then she gives him the coffee. Bueno, ese se da pie y que la disfruten. And that's it. Gracias. Uh, enjoy. How y'all doing? All right. All right. I'm going to be brief because uh, and the final product looks fantastic. I got a chance to view. I, I got a chance to view this the other day. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. I want to congratulate David and Angoria for the bringing diversity and those diverse stories to this incredible neighborhood and our community. Our, you know, our street art project is something we hold uh, with all our other arts projects near and dear. I think it expresses our diversity, our creativity, and our originality. I want to thank the Arts Council. I want to thank Nino. Let's give her a big round of applause. Um, the property owners, I want to give them a big round of applause for launching their buildings. Um, and thank you very much for bringing your stories of Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, uh, to already rich and diverse community. And I'm just excited to view them. Let's go take a look at them. Yeah. All right, congratulations. Thank you for watching me. I know it's a busy day. Oh. Thank you. Oh.